One of the longest running complaints about Escape from Tarkov has been its performance and lack of optimization, often requiring high-end hardware just to get a smooth experience. Patch 16.1.3 was a step in the right direction, and now with the release of Patch 16.2.0, BSG has introduced even more performance improvements. After the customs rework, what was once one of the best performing maps became one of the worst, sometimes running even worse than streets. But in the latest patch notes, the very first change listed is optimized the performance on customs. Along with that, BSG has implemented in-raid memory consumption optimizations and improved shadow quality for better performance on lower end PCs. So is this patch another W for BSG when it comes to optimization? Let's find out. To test BSG's claims of improved performance on lower end PCs, I used a Ryzen 5 3600 paired with the GTX 1060 6GB. I ran my usual test routes on both customs and streets in offline mode with no AI and online mode. And then I also did scav raids to get a broader picture of how the game runs on the new patch. I'll first go over the results from my customs and streets testing, then include footage from the scav raids for those who want to see how performance holds up in a real raid. If you've played Tarkov before, you know that FPS can vary depending on where you are on the map so getting a mix of data is key to seeing the full picture. In offline mode with no AI on customs, I averaged 115 FPS at 1080p around the new industrial building, an area that typically has some of the worst performance on the entire map. That's a solid improvement. Taking it online, FPS naturally dipped a little bit, but I was still averaging 78 FPS, which is impressive for this system in my opinion. Considering that when customs was first reworked, even high-end rigs struggled to hit numbers much higher than this, the optimization here is a clear step forward forward. Now onto streets where CPU load is even higher. In offline mode I averaged 74 FPS on my usual test route starting at Klimov Street and ending at Lexos. Once online it held up surprisingly well maintaining a 58 FPS average just shy of 60. Not too long ago even top tier systems were barely hitting numbers higher than this. So seeing a 6 year old entry level gaming CPU paired with the GTX 1060 getting close to 60 FPS on streets that's a huge win for optimization in my book. Now I'm going to roll the scav raid footage from custom Systems and streets for those who want to see live raid performance in action, but overall, this patch is another big W for BSG. Performance optimization has been one of the community's biggest asks for what feels like forever, and with these latest few patches, BSG has been delivering in a big way. Alright, that's all I've got for this one. I hope you found it helpful. If you got something out of it, please consider dropping a like and subscribing, or even becoming a channel member. It really helps support the channel. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below or join the Purology Discord. We've got over 1,300 friendly and knowledgeable members and you can always message me directly. My username is Puri. I'm always open to chat and I do answer all my direct messages. If you're looking for one-on-one -on -one consultation, optimization, or troubleshooting, this is a perk available once a month to tier 3 Purology Titanium members on my YouTube channel. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.
Find anything good? <laughs> yeah, no, you can have all that. I don't need that. I'm chilling, bro. Nah, blah, nah, this is so good. 